nicely sanded, painted. Just going to find a position now for where the semicircle is going to go above the bed. So as you see here I've got the battens positioned for, for the headboard. Now to find the midpoint on the skirting board where we're going to draw the semicircle. I'm just going to drop down here, find marks on the skirting board for where the bed's going to sit, find the midpoint and then take a string from that with pencil and right around the bed. So we'll just do that now. So I'll drop it down now from the button. One mark here, one at the far end. Just a matter of <laughs> measure the distance between them, divide by two, and that's your mark for it. Where you're going to put the screw in and attach the string. Right, got the screw attached to the skirting board now. You see down here. Um, we've attached it to the bottom of the skirting board because we're going to actually paint a semicircle over the skirting board as well. But if you wanted to keep the skirting board white, you'd attach the screw just at the top of the skirting board and take the pencil up. On the top of the skirt board obviously but we want to we want to paint the skirt board the same color so i just take the pencil attach to the string i did a few trial runs with the string to see what sort of length i wanted first before obviously attaching the pencil that's a good tip tip to do so i'll just pull it nice and tight not too tight for me to touch i break the string and take it up to the skirt board and we're up Right, there we are now, the line drawn. Obviously it's not absolutely perfect, but that's not the end of the world. Like for instance here, the pencil got away from me a little bit, but it's just a guideline now, it's not meant to be absolutely perfect. So when you're painting yourself, you can just take it, straighten it out yourself. As you see, we've gone on down, on over the skirting board, because I want to paint that, but if you didn't want, obviously you can just start from up here. 